Hello, my name is Ala Banihani. I'm one of the clinical lecturer and specialist registrar in pediatric dentistry. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about the application of silver diamond fluoride in pediatric dentistry. Silver diamond fluoride is a topical colorless liquid that contains silver and fluoride. Silver is antibacterial, whereas fluoride enhances remineralization and inhibits demineralization of enamel and dentine. Both products, they work together to arrest dental caries in primary teeth and reduce hypersensitivity associated with tooth surface loss by reducing the patency of the dentinal tubules. The product has several indications and contraindications. The application of silver diamond fluoride in primary teeth is simple, easy, and is considered a low-risk erosal generating procedure, which is an appropriate management technique during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, the product has several drawbacks. The main drawback is that it has the ability to stain dental caries permanently black. Also, it stains soft dentine and resin composite black. Therefore, you need to have a thorough discussion with the patient and parent about its potential black staining. Also, the product has a metallic taste. To get rid of the metallic taste, you can dab a bit of the toothpaste on the patient tongue. Before you start applying silver diamond fluoride in children, there is a set of documents that you need to go through. All these documents are available down in the clinic. First of all, you need to have a thorough discussion with the patient and parent about the product, its use, and its potential black staining. All these information are available in the patient-parent information sheets. Second, you need to obtain a valid consent from the legal guardian. Give one copy to the legal guardian and scan another copy in the patient salute notes. In addition, there is a laminated soap down in the clinic that talks about the silver diamond fluoride and its use. Please familiarize yourself with the soap. Rivastar is the main supplier of silver diamond fluoride in the UK. It supplies the product in a proportion of 38%. As you can see, this is the kit that we have down in the clinic. And in the kit, we have the silver capsule, which has the silver diamond fluoride and the green capsule that has the potassium iodide. Potassium iodide can be used after applying the silver diamond fluoride to reduce the plaque staining associated with the product. It forms a white creamy material on the top of the silver diamond fluoride, kind of like masking the plaque staining of the product. Also, we have the gray and the green micro pressures and a tube of gingival barrier. If you choose to use the gingival barrier to isolate the gum, use small amounts on the gum and light cure it using a funnel motion. All the instructions on the use of silver diamond fluoride are provided in the kits. Please stick to one capsule of the silver diamond fluoride and one capsule of the potassium iodide per child per visit. These two capsules are enough to treat five carious primary teeth. And now I'll show you how to use silver diamond fluoride in a model. You don't need to remove any dental caries before its application. However, if there is obvious food debris, it's better to remove it, either with prophylactic paste or with excavator. Wash the teeth, make sure they are there clean and dry. After that, you need to isolate the lip and mucosa with Vaseline. So in here, I'm just isolating all the mucosa and I'm gonna isolate the lip around it because silver diamond fluoride can cause brown staining for one to three weeks and that will fade away. Then, again, you need to isolate the gingiva around the teeth you're applying silver diamond fluoride on. Just make sure that you do not coat the teeth that's gonna have the silver diamond fluoride on them. Then, grab a silver capsule which has the silver diamond fluoride 
Pierce it open with the grey micro brush and then carefully apply it on dental caries on the cavitated lesion. And as you can see, I am wearing my gloves. Please make sure that you are wearing your PPE because silver diamond fluoride can stain everything it touches. So as you can see with my little micro brush, the grain one, I am applying silver diamond fluoride on cavitated lesion. After you apply it, let it to soak ideally for three minutes. If it's hard to keep the patient sit still, then apply it for at least one minute. Leave it to soak in. After that, if you decide to go for the potassium iodide, then grab one green capsule of potassium iodide, pierce it open with the green brush, and then apply it straight after the silver diamond fluoride until the white creamy material become clear. Please remember that for every patient, you can only use one capsule of silver diamond fluoride and one capsule of potassium iodide to not exceed the recommended dosage. After you apply both silver diamond fluoride or potassium iodide, you will have to dry the teeth. Again, ideally for three minutes, but if you cannot for three minutes, then at least for one minute, and you can dry it either with a gauze or with three in one. And after that, you will start to see that the dental caries is going darker in color.